All right, you guys are good. All right, so this is actually the first time these players have played each other in bracket. Um, Uh, they were actually coming. Oh, yeah. You want to come on? So, uh, Cereza was actually telling me uh, at the beginning of, before they even started that, uh, this was the, this is the first time they played together in bracket. It is indeed, actually. He was telling me that earlier as well while we were playing some friendly school. There is a lot I don't know. And the Bayonetta matchup versus Peach, I would imagine it comes down to Peach has the better defensive game and... It's going to be up to Cereza to break that wall and get the combo damage that Bayonetta, Bayonetta kind of has. She has... Okay, oh, she when has it comes damage. to combo damage, yes, she doesn't have the combo enders anymore. All right. Praise God. Still up there. All right, that's bat with him. Okay, now how can he push this to Bayonetta's hate? He's got, he has Alex in the corner. It comes down to how many times can he get him in the corner and actually keep him there, get damage on him. Now Alex fighting his way out of the corner, putting Sreza back into the corner. And now that I think about it, these are two characters that really excel oh, out he's of... dead? Oh, it definitely. These are two characters that really excel around getting around ledge trapping. And two characters that enjoy ledge trapping themselves. So it's gonna... It, uh, just quick 61, Jesus. Yeah, that's kind of what Peach does. I know Cereza has a Peach himself, so um, I'm not sure how much experience he has in this specific matchup, but I know he knows mm -hmm. Peach enough to where uh, he should know this matchup a little bit better than if he was just going blind. Right. But uh, looks like going in a little bit blind is almost just as good because he is not doing too well. Lapped in percent this stock. Can he turn it around? He's going to come down to a big part. Can he get this kill off his edge guard? Mm -hmm. Try to go deep for that float. Match within. Into the up smash. Oh. That was a nice uh, Peach Bomber attempt by, uh, by High or by Alex. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> he loves Peach Bomber. He just throws the booty whenever he wants to. Yeah, you, it, it, it works. It really does. It was a bad trade for him on the first kill, but uh, or like when he when he got lost his first stock. But that time it just works. And as long as he doesn't get fast within off of it, it's I'm pretty sure in this matchup just completely safe. Uh, can he get this edge guard? He might have killed himself. Yeah, he did. Yes. <laughs> he definitely killed himself. I don't know what he was going for. I thought he had one more afterburner kick, but even in. As soon as he started doing the fairs, I was like, after burner kick's not going to get you back. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, maybe with a maybe with a air, air dodge. dodge. Okay, yeah, yeah. But um, uh, he did not have a directional uh, after burner <laughs> kick, so he was dead anyway. Yeah. So Alex going to take game one. So Reyes is kind of notorious for that. He'll start. He'll look very amazing in flashes, and then for no reason, he'll either kill himself or pick not pick an option for so long that it gets him killed. <laughs> Like, he just stops pressing buttons for some reason. And yeah, that's kind of how Hive operates as well, honestly. Yeah. Every now and again, he'll just randomly SD. The funniest part is when it's in doubles, and, like, all the action is happening on, like, the left side of the <laughs> stage, and then you just hear an explosion on the right. And, he's like, and you just look at him like, huh? <laughs> Says there is <isn't> all right. <laughs> that actually happened in the double set once. It literally went three, two, one, go. Teleport SD when he was playing Palestina. <laughs> probably missed. Probably missed the, uh, the edge, cancel. edge cancel. Yeah, he was trying to be. He was trying to be swag. Oh man, that's what happens. <laughs> you lose the stock. First ten seconds, and now you're down. That was actually really nice weave from Alex right there. He definitely threaded that needle. Yeah, that was. And now that just that, that just sinister float, just right above you, where you can't really pick an option. Everything is covered. You just have to pick between getting nared, back aired, or fair. All right, nice. No, it doesn't get anything off of it though. Oh, Ooh, nice grab. The grab <laughs> release into up smash. All right. I have never seen such an option. I'm just confused as why after getting grab release, Alex grabbed himself. Yo, that's it. Oh, let's nice. go. I'm surprised that turnip was actually close enough to count for the uh, witch time. It is out of the few things that they did. 
did buff on Bayonetta, they did buff that range. And also, if you... If it is anything that is connected to the character, so Zares, yeah, it independent of range, it will, it will activate. Sereza enjoying a lead and some extra credit in this game. Ooh, nice tag chase. That's a, a very nice turnaround from uh, the last game. I thought he almost witch twist right into that turn. If I'm I, not gonna I did, lie, I did too. <laughs> well, witch twist has a hitbox, so he would have been safe anyways. Oh yeah. yeah. And the forward tilt gonna kill off the top. Anytime I see a peach tilt kill, I just get confused. <laughs> Me as well. I was like, uh, what? you have those? Uh, well, speak of the devil of tilts. Yeah, she definitely has a down tilt. Yeah, 45% off of a down tilt. Uh, that, that's kind of how peach goes. And uh, just like that, Hive is now in the taking, lead. <laughs> taking the lead over Cereza. Whew, two neutral interactions, you are at 86%. Welcome to Peach, welcome to Ultimate, baby. <laughs> that is how the, that is the way the news goes. <laughs> oh! Nice stop. The call out of the Peach Bomber with that down smash. Yeah, like we said, uh, every now and again, Alex will just throw out that Peach Bomber. And if you can call it out, it's very punishable. Oh, yeah. Got to keep the booty under control. Can't just throw the booty out <laughs> randomly. That's how, you, uh, that's, how, that's how you get first, uh, third at STI. <laughs> oh, God dang it. Uh, like we said in the first game, there's uh, Cereza just randomly killing himself. Yeah. But. Got to uh, attack those. We have seen Cereza do a lot better this game compared to last. So making up 64% and a kill this stock right now doesn't seem impossible. As long as he can get something. And he's just got to get at or step off of number this, one or off get of this out of ledge. this corner. Okay, he's out of the corner and then put himself back. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, he's still winning. All okay. right. Mm, I think Smashville Platform actually screwed him up a bit. It's a bat with it off of the counter. Nice. Okay, big damage. Not going to end in a kill, but... Oh. Okay, thank the Lord. Oh, the air dodge was able to get him back. All right, he's doing a lot better. Okay. Backing up some percent with guns. Oh, misses the oh, misses the up smash. That's unfortunate. And that's gonna be so unfortunate for Cereza. Alex gonna take it 2-0 though. Good stuff to both players. Somehow and the. Uh,